Our NFL team making some news. Wow, what a two or three week period this has been for the Texans. GM, what's the situation? <laughs> Are they going to have a GM when this season starts or at all this season coming up? I, I hate every bit of it. I, <laughs> I, I, I just hate every bit of it. I don't think you can you can go into a season without He's a lying. general manager. I really don't. I, I think general manager, you could argue, is the toughest, most demanding, and put it that way, yeah. position in all of sports. Think about the roster size. Think about the number of personalities, the coaches, the scouting, the number of scouts, everything goes in it, you know, everything from on the field to off the field, to determining you know, depth chart, et cetera. It's the most demanding spot in sports and you don't have one for at least 10 months and you're waiting it's kind of like you know when you when you're dating a girl he hates when I say this but, but, but like when you're trying to date a girl all right yeah. and she and she tells you I'll, I'll date you but I'll date you in 10 months all the things that could go wrong <laughs> between that months and 10 would, months. Would Landry say you had me at I'll date you yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly it's a demanding job but it's demanding during the draft it's demanding during free agency that's done right now Brian Gain made 18 in-season moves last year, okay? There were two significant ones. He cut Tyler Irvin and brought in DeAndre Carter, woohoo, and he traded a fourth for Demarius Thomas. If you're not going to have a GM, this is the fine time to not have a GM. They still have a scouting department, Lopez. Yeah, who's in charge? They still have. Jack Easterby <laughs> is in charge of everything, okay? He's going to run for mayor. He's coming for your job, too, Turner. He's taking over the city. That, that yeah. becomes the question. Exactly. From not in the organization to this, I'll say this amount of yeah. power. Yeah. Should Jack Easterby be in this position? Could he actually be groomed to be the GM, even though that's really not what he's ever done? If you believe some reports, he's grooming himself uh, to become GM. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest issue. Again, it's not just the demands on the job. It's like, who's in charge? Let's say you want to call the Redskins for Trent Williams. Hey, let's talk about a deal. Who am I talking with? Who is this? New phone, who this? I mean, you don't know who's... <laughs> that's how the Texans are going to answer the yeah, phone next yeah, year? You, wow. don't know who you, want, you, don't know, you don't know who you're dealing with with the Texans. <laughs> I, I, I think Jack Easterby, I, I think this guy, I don't know that he wants to be a GM, but I will say this. Based on everything you know about him. Bill Belichick let him sit in on meetings for five freaking years. Bill Belichick let him sit in there. And Jack Easterby came to the Texans. He's already, by some reports, the most powerful man out there right now. I think Jack Easterby could be a GM if he had the right guys around him. Hell, I think Jack Easterby could be president. Jack Easterby <laughs> can do whatever the heck he wants. Should Bill O'Brien how, or how much power should Bill O'Brien have? That's question number one. And then as you go into the season, can they get by this season without a GM? And if they really want Casario, wait, what, 10, 11 months here, and go after him again with his contract. They can get by. It's just not ideal. Right. And a lot of bad things can happen. Bill O'Brien should not be one of two coaches in the NFL that is also general manager. Mm -hmm. that, that shouldn't, it shouldn't be Bill Belichick and Bill O'Brien. He's done nothing compared to Belichick or anybody else to deserve that. Bill, Bill O'Brien doesn't deserve any more power. He should be able to pick the players on his roster. He can make the cuts. But as far as anything else, Bill O'Brien, 15-31 and 31 in his career against teams that finished 500 or better, no, you don't deserve that. And, and quite honestly, I don't think Bill O'Brien deserves a free pass for Brian Game because that was his guy. They were aligned. This was your guy, Bill O'Brien. As a matter of fact, I think it falls on Bill O'Brien. So, no, he should, be able to, he should be able to pick his roster. He should be able to do that. But as far as personnel, all that, your guy was just here. And according to Cal McNair, he wasn't good enough. So so no extra power for Bill O'Brien, in my opinion. All right, yes or no, will they have a GM by the season opener? No, absolutely not. They got Jack Easterby. They don't need <laughs> President of the Jack Easterby. Yeah, I, I think they're actually not going to have one either. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think they're going to hold out and, and wait it's it out. a big mistake. To get it done. I'll date you in 10 months. Okay. Yeah, but that really is how, how they're going to answer the phone. When the Redskins or yeah. the Cardinals or whoever calls, they're going to say, well, how may I direct your call? But they're not going to know the yeah. answer. I don't know.